And is it safe to buy medication online? If you're talking about Viagra, the answer could be no. We're breaking down the risks for you to look out for. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. As always, get the kids out of the room right now. <laughs> we always say that when you guys are here for some reason. This morning, we're talking about how counterfeit Viagra, physical ailments, and mental health problems can impact your sex life. Dr. Erwin Goldstein and Rose Hartzell are back now from the San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital. Doctors, good morning. Good morning. Well, well, uh, thank you for doing this always. Fox at, 5, we love you. you as always. chance uh, to talk about this. We stuff. appreciate it. Now, this appears in this month's uh, edition of the Journal of Sexual Medicine. Of course, you are the editor of this. Uh, so tell me what this is all about and the importance because people are buying a lot of this, the, the medicine online and it ends up being counterfeit some of the time. Right, Talk so to us about in my that. hand, yeah. I have some Viagra pills. Okay. These are the real things. I'm going to give them to you. <laughs> here you go. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, hold it up to the camera. That's probably okay. a better angle here. Cause let me, let me see. see it here? There we go. Okay. Okay. Stay, the stay, keep, is, them, keep them right there. Don't move them so we can see them. Right okay. there. Okay. So the thing is, uh, they have lookalikes that look very much like this. There's wow. 15,000 websites, and they sell millions each month of this stuff. And Two-thirds of these pills don't have anything in it, it's not Viagra, or have illicit drugs like amphetamines, or have a blood uh, sugar lowering agent called gliburide. There have been deaths reported from this. So we wanted to talk to you and to your audience about it. So here, by the way, just take this. <laughs> I, do, do we have a these picture the of ones. what the fake Viagras look like? Because yeah, if we I, have that, we could put it up and just, I mean, this is amazing. Because I've seen the pictures of the fake ones, and it looks, I mean... It looks exactly like... To the, the naked little, eye, you can't tell the difference. You really can't tell. Now, I'm fascinated by the fact that some of these pills actually have no medicine in them. Oh, so well, people are basically the, getting suckered out of their money. The, the, the counterfeit drug, people think they're, they're just yeah. uh, saving money. Mm -hmm. Well, so let's go over some facts. And uh, one-third of people who have erection mm -hmm. problems actually don't go to their doctor. They go outside the healthcare system. You just brought us a little anecdotal story mm -hmm. of a friend who went to a friend and opened up their medicine chest. Right. But people go to the internet. There's huge problems with this. I mean, you wouldn't do this if you had liver disease or kidney disease or for some reason, it's so embarrassing that you sort of it's say... It's embarrassing and some people think that this could be some sort of recreational drug, which it is not. This is for a medical condition. What can we tell people? To, I mean... So I want... Dr. Hartzell. <laughs> yes. Well, another problem, too, is that if these men are experiencing erectile dysfunction and getting these medications online, a lot of times erectile dysfunction can be a symptom of a more serious mm -hmm. uh, health ailment, such as diabetes, um, heart disease, and impending heart. High cholesterol, right, all exactly. Those but and also of mental health issues, of relationship of course, issues yeah. for which you need to address. Is there any way, if you're going to buy these things online, as many of us do, as many people are still doing, any way to know for sure what you are getting? It's two-thirds, one-third. One-third will get the real drug, mm -hmm. and two-thirds will get some variation of dose or other element in it. Go it's to your health care provider. Go exactly. to a pharmacy you trust. That's the best option. But people always try to skirt the official ways of but getting it. But the cost savings are ridiculously right, yeah. negligible when you're thinking of your own health. Is there a spike in the, in the, in the counterfeit medication at this point? I would assume so. Th there are... Well, here's the deal. Uh, uh, narcotic people mm -hmm. who are good at making drugs mm -hmm. are now making Viagra and finding more profit in this drug than in opium and the other things because mm. the, the, the sort of the, the uh, enforcers, we just had a story about yeah. uh, crackdown in San Diego. They're not cracking down on counterfeit Viagra because it's sort of outside the system. So they make more money that way. There, let's, let's get to this topic. This is a new study also about mental and physical health problems that are causing sexual dysfunction. We were just talking about the, the, you know, the side effects that could lead, uh, diabetes could lead to sexual dysfunction and it's kind of a cycle. Explain what this new study says. So why don't you... Yeah, different health ailments can mm -hmm. cause sexual dysfunction and in a recent study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine that was just published in July, mm -hmm. um, they found that men often link their sexual dysfunction to physical ailments and women to mental health ailments. Mm. But in general, depression, anxiety, heart disease, a history of sexual abuse, um, Cancer, all of those can lead to sexual dysfunction for both men and women. How do we know, for example, if it's hurting our sex life, uh, maybe there's a hormone deficiency at some point? Yes, yeah, so the tip to the audience yeah. is don't treat this yourself because you're going to miss something. For example, it's so common that an artery blockage 
You mean the artery to to the down there? It's it's less than a mm -hmm. millimeter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's blocked, it could be that the artery to your heart is also in early blocked. And you'd want to know that so you could prevent the ultimate heart attack stroke situation. It's because of the taboo, for whatever reason that exists, that people don't look at it that way because sexual dysfunction really does not come out of the blue. I mean, this is something that develops like, like any other disease or, or problem, correct? But you at Fox 5 get the word out, which is why we're so appreciative of it. Okay, the best advice. <laughs> when should people seek professional advice from their doctors? When they notice the first uh, signs of, of, of a problem? Or what's your advice to folks watching right now? So you answer. <laughs> yes. Well, first off, in order to take care of your sexual yeah. health, you want to exercise, eat healthy, uh, relax, and go to a medical professional if it's disturbing you. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, uh, I would say the earlier you catch a sexual um, problem, usually the better, because there can be a cycle within the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, someone has erectile dysfunction, it causes right. the other partner to have more problems. Um, and then if you're going to go online to get information, go to sexualmed.org, which is a credible source. Um, versus any of the other websites available. So Great information, and I'm, and I'm telling you, it's just like with any other medical condition, you would go to a doctor to treat it. Same applies here. Take these two Viagra bags and put them in I that promise bag. I will I don't want use them things. correctly. No, doctor. Okay, to reach uh, Dr. Goldstein and Dr. Hartzell at San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital, go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click the scene on tap. Doctors, thank you very much. Thank you. Great information yeah. as always. All right, Erica, over to you. All right, thank you, Conley.